the drawing program that we were offering was simply too tedious. Um, too many people were struggling too much with it. So the education's the same, it's just the tools are different. Instead of working in paint to start, we're now starting in paint. And we're seeing people moving at a much, much faster clip, getting through it. You know, I've, I've been saying this all along, but you know, Evolve as a program has evolved along the way. Um, we've, we've, we've been learning from our students what is good and what isn't, what they need and what they don't, and um, how to best move them forward. The idea of the program is to make art accessible. And if we're doing something that makes it very, very hard, then we're not doing what we set out to do. And so the program is constantly being reassessed to see if we are, if we're staying true to our goal. And if we've found, if we can find a better way to get there, then we implement it. We implement it as quickly as we can. You know, a pencil is a fine point, but if I need to do something bigger, I can use a brush this size. It'd take me an hour with a pencil to fill something that will take 30 seconds with this. So an hour to get my thought out, or 30 seconds, 30 seconds allows me to get my thought out as it is in that moment and move to the next thought. People have an idea that drawing is done with a pencil and painting is done with a brush. Drawing is how you think. It's how you think. It's how you filter what you see. The implement you work with is not painting or drawing. It's just the implement you work with. Anything that can make a mark can be used for drawing. Drawing and painting are the same thing. If you think, like, so, so you think about it, if you think about drawing as line drawing, then you, you can make lines with a paintbrush as well. The beauty of drawing with a brush, if we kind of eliminate the idea of paint, but just something that makes a mark. Painting with a brush allows three-dimensional thinking right off of the implement. Pencil doesn't. Pencil is slow because in order to create the impression of three dimensions, so much more has to be done where a brush, a few strokes, gives you a three-dimensional object, where in pencil it's not so simple. It takes much longer to express that. Drawing is not about the implement that you create the mark with, it's about how you think. So yes, if you took Evolve and you learned how to paint, you would become a better, you'd become better at drawing as you think of it without ever picking up a pencil. Because how you think would determine how you use the implement. And again, it doesn't matter what it is that you make the mark with. I could go out and grab a fistful of dirt and create art with it, three-dimensional, even arguably realistic art with it, because I understand how to utilize the marks. And that's drawing. It's not about the tool. Drawing, drawing is about how you think how you filter and process the visual stimulation and then the kind of marks you make. The tool you make the mark with is really irrelevant. What you learn in the painting blocks will apply directly to drawing. I don't need to teach you to draw with a pencil if you understand the ideas uh, that we teach in the painting blocks. Like, look, I mean, we have students that in the drawing block, because of the, the tedious nature of it, um, they didn't come back to the easel day after day after day. And some of them, it's, the block is sprawled a year for them to finish, and it, which is fine. But the painting block, which offers the same amount of information about how to see, most of our students are knocking it out in a month. So one year to get the knowledge, not the, not the drawing, but the knowledge, one year or one month, because we switched the tool. To me, that's, it's a no-brainer. Go with the one that gives the information. You can always take the information and go back and draw with it because the implement that you work with is irrelevant once you understand the ideas. There are things that are critical to being able to draw that we don't teach in block one, we teach them in block three because they are best fitted into that space. So if you did only block one, you would get certain pieces of the information but not be able to make sense of everything because they're not being offered, it would make block one too dense and it would give information that would be 
unnecessary at that stage in the development. The program is built out to be all-encompassing and we place pieces of information, we space them so that they fit into a place naturally and they're easily digested because you're not gobbling down too much at one time. The whole point of me starting the, the Art Academy and then building out the, the Evolve program was that I am trying to share this so that people can have access, be able to learn how to make art, to then take it and build a career or enrich their lives as a hobby or whatever it is they want to do with it. And what I was finding was that the vast majority of people never got through charcoal. It just burned a hole in them. It was so slow and so tedious and so painful that only the most driven students got through it. And I watched this happening. And eventually what I realized is that everything I was teaching in charcoal, I could teach in paint. And there's this idea that drawing is done with a pencil and painting is done with a brush. But the truth is drawing and painting are done in here. The tool you use is irrelevant. I can draw and paint with a digital and a digital format. I can do watercolor. I can, like I I know how to think about what I'm looking at. When I want to make a piece of art, it doesn't matter. Anything that can make a mark, I can create art with. And so changing that idea that you require drawing, because that's a very old idea. You must have drawing in order to, to be able to do other things, but it's not true. Now, I don't want anyone to, to think that I don't believe drawing is necessary. The skills of drawing are necessary, but you can draw with a brush. A pencil is a tedious tool to work with. And I have a lot of respect for people who are really, really great with a pencil, but most people don't have the patience to develop the skill to the level it needs to be developed. So, and part of it is if it takes too long, it shatters your confidence. You start thinking like, I'm never going to get there. Right. And so in an atelier, you can work on a bar drawing for months. I mean, insane one drawing weeks, months. I mean, it's insane. You know, in, like I said, I mean, I think most ateliers, in fact, I think all ateliers, you don't even look at a paintbrush for a year. A year in Evolve, you're three exercises in, you've made your first painting. Even if you've never painted before, you have an actual painting. The fourth painting is three-dimensional. It has depth and volume. 20 paintings into the program, which is, I mean, again, we're only talking about a couple of months if you're working, you know, if you're working those seven hours, those seven hours a, a week, which is what we recommend. The 20th painting is a very complex painting in grayscale. But the thing is that every step of the way, you know, if you're doing the work and you're getting the result, it's building your confidence, showing you, you know, by the time you get through block one and you look at what we do in block four, you know, that based on where you are in block one, you know exactly what you're going to be able to do by the time you finish block four. Our entire program is laid out on the website. You can see the entire curriculum, every single painting you'll do. And so you can compare your work and see. And you can see all the little baby steps. There are no big jumps. Everything's baby steps. Even when we move from, from grayscale into color, it's the baby steps. There are no big lurches forward that require you to have some natural talent or anything like that. Just confidence to tackle the next thing, nothing more, and take the principles you've learned in prior exercises with you as you move forward. Everything is built one on top of another. We never move away from the tower we're building. We, once we lay that foundation, everything is built straight up. So everything rests on the things that came before it. Everything is added after. We just build up from there. So is that also why you only give your students four values in grayscale as opposed to Keeping 11 or 10. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so